Hello guys, welcome to another video from the Detectives channel. Today I will be showing you how to do your DIY streaming camera. Well, we are under lockdown and uh, we can't really go anywhere for shopping and I can't really buy a DSLR camera and they are a bit expensive so I guess if you're looking for a cheap solution, we'll use something that's already owned by everybody. So we're gonna be using our phone. So stay tuned guys, I'll show you how to use your phone a really high quality streaming camera. Let's get started. So I told you guys that we'll be using a phone, but where's the stand? I assume nobody owns a camera stand for their PC, so we're going to be using a toilet paper roll. I'll show you how to do your DIY camera stand for your phone on the screen. Let's get started. So we'll be making a cut on this side and on the other side one for the screen and one for the phone so over here you guys can see i have made a cut one for the side of the screen so it can nice and nicely hold the screen while you're putting the phone on the other side so i'll quickly show you how it goes on the screen and uh, you got the idea there so you know what to do next we're just gonna cut the toilet roll on the top so we, our phone can hang right there so now you can see my phone is hanging right there and that is not really a good looking camera stand but you know in your live stream nobody's gonna be watching your camera stand they're gonna be looking at you and uh, most often at your game or if you're just live streaming yourself then they'll be just looking at you so this is the way if you want to use the front camera you can use the front camera but it's better to use the back camera now we're gonna go ahead and get the software software part done so over here you can look um, that I'm going to be going on our site which is basically for IV cam uh, you can google this term and go to the official website and download the client for your windows pc and also make sure you download the app on your phone if you own an android phone you should download it on your android phone and if you own an iphone you do it on your iphone i don't know if it work on mac or any other operating systems but it definitely do work on your pc on your windows machine so let's get started i'll show you guys it's a boring part downloading and installing but you get the idea where you need to go and what apps you need to install we'll go ahead and show you what else you need to do to connect this IV cam so over here you can see I've got iTunes installed because I've been using iPhone it's a must and also IV cam I'm turning on IV cam I'm connecting my phone via USB if you want to get the best quality do connect it via USB you can see at the bottom of the page or of this webcam webcam that there is it says iPhone connected via USB and over here I'm just showing you the lights here um, well I've got lighting here so it's why the quality is a little bit better but they're not in a perfect position I can not really put them in a perfect position so it's okay I just wanted to show you guys that it does work and over here few settings to note down you wanna disable the autofocus and auto white balance but you can use the phone flash over here there is an option to turn on the phone flash it actually does turn on but you can't really see um, the changes because I've got bigger lights than a flash you can use this beauty mark I don't really know if it has made it, uh, any changes um, you guys can test it out but there are a few settings but you can see on the top um, left corner of the webcam there is IV cam watermark because it's there I haven't purchased this application if you buy this application this watermark will be removed otherwise if you're using like OBS or any software you know how to remove watermarks or replace the background you can also blur out some parts of your screen if you're using a streaming software uh, some streaming software does have the capability to do that and make sure your hardware decoding is turned on well i have selected cuda because nvidia card does use cuda codes so that's why i've selected cuda here for our hardware decoding there is an option for 4k there is an option for 1080p but if you're using 1080p with 30 frames per second uh, believe me uh, if you're connected to USB 2.0 then use 30 frames but if you're connected to USB 3.0 or higher then you can use 60 frames per second on 1080p but also you can go ahead and select 4k and maybe use the higher frames I did do that uh, to test it out but it did got disconnected so I wouldn't recommend it to do that but 1080p is uh, you know good quality and it is the best way to use it as you can see this webcam 
has a really good quality right now I'm just showing you the 30 frames how they look like if you turn it to 60 frames or how smooth it gets like you can see now it will connect you can see it's a lot smoother than before because I'm using 60 frames on 4k it is working really well for me let me know down in comment section below how did you find it like and subscribe thanks for watching bye for now